So in this video, we're going to learn how to do this, which is actually very simple inside of your Beehive newsletter. So if you probably saw today in my newsletter, right, I changed it a little bit, right? I was like, say around with it. And one of the big things, of course, is this change in the footer area of the email newsletter. So super simple to do. All you need is like a free account of Canva and your Beehive newsletter, and that's it. So first, um, you're gonna wanna go to Canva. Right, so here's my Canva. And so it's pretty much four images where you're gonna create or three images or whatever you want, to, uh, like depends on how many, how big you want your footer to be, right? So the size that I went with was 900 by 100. It's probably maybe not the right size, but it's what works, I guess. It looks pretty okay for my, like in my, in my opinion. So here you can, so it's actually very simple. It's just an image that you're adding. And I'll show you how to do it inside of Beehive, right? So you, you pretty much have to create uh, like your banner, right? And then find like a button and just write a text, right? I added some shadow to make it like stand out a little bit. If I could just find it here. There we go. Oops. Where was it here? So there we go. Edit photo, right? I added uh, an effect, a shadow right here just to make it pop out. Like it looks like, you know, it kind of looks like, you know, you could click it. It's like clickable kind of looks like. So that's why I went that way. So after you created your four images uh, inside of Canva here, it's super simple to uh, do. So what you need to go is go inside your Beehive, right? Go into settings and then go to design lab. And then from here, you're going to want to go to your email footer, right? And then click all the way down here and go to custom content right here, add custom content to the footer. You click it and then from there, you just have to export your Canva images that we created right inside of Canva and go back to Beehive, right? And just upload them as images, right? So that's it. That's pretty simple, easy. Then I'll show you how to set it up inside of Beehive. So once you've done that, you now you know you can yeah you have to add links to it like if you want people like if if people if you want people to click it right so like here's an example right so if, if somebody clicks the playlist it will take them to Spotify right it will take them to my Spotify playlist right here and so on archive will just send them somewhere else and the shop takes them to my Gumroad uh store right here. So that's pretty much it. And then of course, now, now that you've uploaded, of course, the images, you're going to have to go back to design lab, right? Go right here and just make some changes to it. So if we go down here, right? It looks like this, right? In design lab. And if I'm not mistaken, you just need to change the spacing, right? Make it really low, the spacing right here. Um, like this is what works for me. And I'm also, and just do it like this. So this is what works for me. And then you know, it should have it like looking like this. So I have it a little bit basic, right? Just have it light from lightness to darkness. I have it. And of course that's all done in Canva since they're just images that you have to upload into Beehive into the email footer. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one.